Lakes Take is brought to you by Arrowwood Lodge at Brainerd Lakes. This is your Lakes Take with your take around the lakes. My name is Elliot and this is now the new person you need to hide your kids from, Zeke. Law enforcement in Alexander being praised for taking down a lot of marijuana over the weekend. Uh, mother load, 900 pounds found in a camper on I-94. Uh, business gonna be booming for our boy j Dog here pretty soon. To put it in perspective, 900 pounds of marijuana, a lot. That's like nine Elliots of marijuana. A photo going viral after a Detroit Lakes man posted a picture of himself after he hit a timber wolf on the road. Uh, just as a side note, what do possums and timber wolves have in common? Both play dead at home and get killed on the road, like the basketball team. They're t you get it. This summer, Detroit Lakes partying like it's 1999. No prints not coming back. Smash Mouth and Eve Six, two of the headliners for the Bash on the Beach, July 19th and 20th. For those two bands, the hits kept coming, and they just kept coming, and they just kept coming, and they just kept coming. Stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop. Except they did. The Minnesota Department of Transportation released some traffic statistics, including the 1,974 DWI arrests in Minnesota in February. As Jim Carrey would say on Liar Liar, stop breaking the law! Minnesota lawmakers pressing for laws that will enforce hands-free phones while driving, which is perfect for me because do you know how hard it is to text, drive, and eat corn on the cob at the same time? I need both hands to eat my corn on the cob. Minnesota is also working on what's been called the slow poke bill that basically tells drivers that you have to use the left lane, you know, the passing lane when you're passing people and then you get out of it. Unless of course you're that guy in the roller skate car because then you know the road is just your oyster to explore. The Minnesota Twins releasing their concession stand prices and to the shock of many prices are dropping. $2 sodas, $3 hot dogs, $5 beers, but still some pretty terrible baseball. Two Minnesota high school boys were allowed to join their school's dance team. It is a first, but it's about 10 years too late for me and Zeke to live out our dreams. The Fargo-Moorhead area expected to see moderate to major snowmelt flooding. It's a good thing that Jay and Kay Marine just opened up that new location over there because we may have to move the On the Water pontoon party to Fargo this summer. Cub Scout Pack 605, they held their annual Pinewood Derby at M State this past week. We tried to send Zeke over for some pictures, but apparently they don't let him in with a mustache like that. It probably didn't help that he drove that 1980s wood panel van with the curtains on it too. Hey, I had a good reason to get rid of all of this. I heard that the Minnesota Fur Trade exhibit is coming to town, and I thought they were looking for donations, but apparently they're not. So uh, anybody from the Minnesota Trade or Fur Trade exhibit, uh, don't open any mail for me because it's going to be full of whiskers. And that's your Lakes Take with your take around the lakes. Lakes Take is brought to you by Arrowwood Lodge at Brainerd Lakes.